Hello everybody, my name is uh, Sally Vanderhorst. Uh, originally, of course, as you can hear on my accent, I'm from England, from a place called Stoke-on-Trent. But actually, I've been living in the Netherlands now for uh, almost 40 years. Okay, at the moment, as you can see, I'm surrounded by hyacinths. Um, we're guests today in the, in the, in the greenhouses of uh, Hogevorst. I originally arrived in the Netherlands for one year only. I came here in 1980 uh, for one year as a student. And of course, when you're investigating what, what's on in the Netherlands, of course, the first thing that comes to mind is bulbs, bulbs and tulips. So everybody said to me, yes, there's a couple of things you need to do. Of course, you need to go to the Kokonoff. But one important thing you mustn't miss is the flower parade, the parade in the spring, which is here in the bulb area of the Netherlands. So, of course, there I was, a young girl, and I stood at the side of the road. I waved. I listened to the, uh, to the bands. I watched the beautiful flower parade go by. Of course, you can smell the hyacinths, the beautiful smell of the flowers. And I was absolutely amazed. I didn't know that anything like this existed. Of course, I've lived here now for 40 years, and that wasn't the first parade I've seen. Of course, I've seen more. Um, yeah, in our village, Forhout, uh, the parade passes by. But of course, think of all the buses of the Japanese and the Chinese that are all vying for a place at the front uh, to see what was go what's going on. And I realized, yes, that um, even I, as a tourist at the time, I was interested in seeing what the parade was all about. But in fact, today it's become even more important. It's a very important part of the spring festival, of the uh, interest that the world has in, in bulb flowers, in flowers from bulbs. And the Corso is really a centerpiece in, in, the, in, in the end of April when the flowers in the, in the fields are absolutely at their best. If you want to see the bulb fields looking beautiful, then we always say the end of April is really the best time to come. And the parade takes place just in that most important time of the year when this whole area is bursting with colour. So it's about, it's about colour, it's about the flowers, it's about the scent, it's about everything around this area of the Netherlands. And the Corso, the, the flower parade, is just a part of, of that whole feeling, which uh, for, a, for a foreign visitor is absolutely amazing. They've never seen anything like it. My goal is to connect with all of those visitors overseas with whom we have to discuss and talk about and in, give information uh, in English. Because all of these people, they, their, heart, their heart beats when they think about our parade. They love it. They come here, they embrace it. But we have to continue to communicate with them. We have to talk to them in English. And what we need to do is also to talk to them and bring them information which is relevant for us, for them, also to help them understand a little bit more about how bulbs are grown here in the Netherlands. I mean, I'm sure that uh, if you look at the, the, the greenhouse behind me, I wonder how many people even know that this is how bulbs are grown. Uh, when my kids were small, one of the most exciting moments of the year was the children's parade. After school on a Thursday, we'd rush down and get flowers. They were given by the, 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 the growers here locally, would actually provide flowers for the children. And we'd rush down there and be as quickly as possible to get the best flowers to do what? To decorate our bikes. Because of course, there's two things in Holland that go together, flowers and bikes. And the children would decorate their bikes while well, we'd help them, of course, tying on the flowers. And then just before the main parade arrived in Vorout, the children would all parade through the main part of the village on their bikes. That's what I feel is a little bit my job, my job as a, as a non-Dutch, although uh, I do speak Dutch, but uh, it's a non-Dutch. I look at our visitors from overseas and I hope to connect them to our parade and continue to do so.